Namaste, everyone. Welcome to Fit for Life. And you know what we're going to do today, just by what I said and just by looking at my hands, my prayer hands here, we're going to do a nice, relaxing, strengthening yoga class. I mean, it's also great for flexibility and it's also meditative. We'll do our short meditation at the end. Um, and it's called Brief Yoga History. That's the name of this show. It's going to be very brief, but I'd like to give you a little background for those that might not know anything about it. Uh, evidence of yoga, evidence of it, and I'd love to know what that is. I'm going to have to look into that. It goes back roughly about 5,000 years originating in India, which some of you might know. The aim was to attach a permanent state of peace and open-mindedness in order to experience your true self to find out taking the time to find out who you are, just to relax, release, and just let go of everything, all your thoughts, and just being in the moment. Uh, we practice mindfulness meditation here, which again means being in the moment and not thinking about what you did before and what you're going to do after and all the things that are bothering you. And that yoga breath will help you to let go of all that. It does work. The yoga breath is very important. Today's yoga has become a universal language of spiritual and physical exercise to improve the health of people who practice it. Um, Hatha yoga is the more physical and that's what's practiced in this country, mostly. There are many, many different kinds of yoga. Uh, the physical postures are called asanas and the word yoga means union or connecting the mind and body or bringing two, two things together. So. We are going to start today with the yoga breath. So just be comfortable, uh, not slouchy, but just relax, sit back a little. You might want to put one foot in front or do that a little bit. Um, let's breathe up through the nose together, holding that breath and exhaling through your mouth. As you exhale, your chin will come down naturally. And you need to practice yoga. You don't do it once and get the feeling that you should be getting or the benefit. But let's, let's do it together again, breathing up through the nose, holding that breath, and making that exhalation a little bit longer as your chin comes down. Good. And let's do one more breath together, all the way up. holding it and then exhaling. You can make that wishing sound if you want because you're along probably watching this, right? Wonderful. So right away that should relax you a little bit. Again, it will take some practice. You can practice it on your own. You can get a book. You can take a class. Find a good place to practice your yoga to learn, to learn more about it. Now, um, we're going to do like a kind of a good morning starting exercise called Salute to the Sun. It's usually done standing and then on the floor. You get down on the floor, the legs go back, and then you come all the way back up again. Well, we don't get down on the floor uh, on this show, so we'll do a very uh, abbreviated version of it coming forward. You're going to breathe up as you come up, up through the nose, holding for a couple of seconds and then exhaling as you come down. Keep up exhaling, make that exhalation a little longer than the inhalation. Again, touch the floor, touch your shoe, grab your ankles or just stay there and keep your head up, as I said, if you have to. And then we're gonna come up, breathing up, all the way up, hold and one more time forward with your exhalation. Good. And yoga is done slowly and it's done with the breath and we'll come back up. And um, you can also do it continuously. Do the movements one going into the other, one preceding the other, making the, the next uh, asana um, flow. Go with the flow, I guess you could call it. All right, now we're going to do some just regular stretching, loosening up exercises because we're using 
uh, the body for yoga in many, many different ways. So just drop the chin right down. Good. Feel a stretch on the back of your neck. Now as you come up, breathe up through your nose. We've already done it. Holding. And exhale. Good. Now what I'd like you to do is just turn your head, not your body, just your head to one side. These are very basic movements to kind of prepare your body, get it stretched out a little bit, warmed up a little bit, moving back to the other side, good. And the slower you go, the more relaxed you'll be. It does work, it really does. Yoga is not a religion. You could call it a practice, you could call it a science. We'll do an eardrop. Let that eardrop down. Good. If I fall asleep, someone better give me a call. And then back to the other side. Yes, the music does help, doesn't it? Very relaxing. You could do the breath with every single step, every single move, every single asana if you want. Now you're going to drop that chin down and then just kind of describe a half circle. Good and then drop the head down again. Unless it makes you feel funny, it's not comfortable. I heard a little clicking in that. I don't know if you did, but. All right, now I'd like to do the four spinals. Well, we already did one. We already did flexibility coming forward. Now we're gonna do spinal extension. We've kind of already done that too, haven't we? So we're gonna reach up and up. You can help your arm a little bit if you want. It's a great stretch. Now we do a lot of rotation in yoga, especially on the floor. So we're going to sit back. All right. Take this hand, cross it over, and just keep turning in that direction. You can turn the whole body this time. Good. Turning. How does that feel? Try to bring those shoulders down a little bit. Now let's take a breath up through the nose. And exhale as we start to come back. We're going to do the other side. Just pulling yourself around, sitting up tall. Oh, this feels so good. And then we'll come back slowly. And the spine can also bend as you know, because we've done it many times. So why don't we take this hand, cross it over. We're going to breathe up through our nose as we come up. And we are going to bend. Oh yeah, this is a really, really good one. And I'm sure you can feel that. You're going to have a wonderful stretch all the way down your side. And then we'll come back slowly. Let's cross over. Let's breathe up through the nose as we come up. And exhale as we do a nice, easy bend. Oh, yeah. Try to reach up rather than this and get a really, really good stretch. Wonderful. And we'll come back slowly, too. Let's give ourselves a hug. We've done. We've done this before and it feels good. Let's take a breath up through the nose and exhale as you come forward. Think of separating, separating your upper back, opening it up, and then we'll come back up slowly. And now we're going to do the Grecian stretch again because this is such a a body opener. This is such a great stretch for the body so you can come forward. Remember the legs are parallel, one next to the other. Put that foot in back, keep yourself nice and tall. Good. You can hold on here to pull yourself up if you want. Bring the shoulders down. Wonderful. You're going to reach down and lift up if you can. If not, you can just push that heel back a little bit. But I'm going to reach Sometimes you could bring your leg up with the stretch and whatever you're wearing. If 
it's a leotard or tights or just yoga pants too. Wonderful. Sitting nice and tall. Now let's switch that leg, keep your back straight and come forward and get a nice stretch in your hamstring. And we need all of this for yoga, um, especially for the floor work. And then we'll come back up slowly. Again, you're going to hold all of this longer when you do it. Good. We'll switch to the other side. Keep that back straight. The leg closest to me, to you. Back, reaching down or reaching the pant leg and pulling it up. Pull back. If you can let go, fine. Reaching, so you're reaching forward, pulling back at the same time. Not so difficult, right? We can do it. And then we're going to let that foot come down slowly. Switch. Doesn't this one look nice? When I see a whole room full of people doing this, it looks so nice. Keep the back straight. But it's not as easy to stretch that hamstring. Yeah. Keeping the back nice and flat. And let's let's just let's just round over so that we can finish because we've got a lot to do. And then we'll come back up slowly. Now we're going to do some chair yoga, as you know. And this in particular is for the upper body. We're going to do the eagle, uh, which can be done standing with both the legs and the arms. But we're going to do just the arms today. So elbow over elbow. Either way, it doesn't matter if you can get that elbow across the forearm here. Whatever you can do. If you can only do this, that's fine. Cross over. And if you can kind of bring those arms back and feel that stretch in your back, you could really feel it, can't you? Let's take a breath up through the nose. And exhale. Good. Hello. How does that feel? Can you switch? Because maybe your arms are stretched out now, right? And yes, we could do it with the breath going a little bit faster because I want to get a lot in and maybe next time we'll do less and we'll do it a little bit slower. Good. Wonderful. Clasp your hands just to stretch out a little bit. Palms are flat. I'm looking at your palm. You're looking at my palm here. My palms and then bring up. Good. Nice and easy. So that's the yoga eagle. Let's do the yoga cat which I do in just about every class because it's so good for posture and for stretching. Hands on your knees, pull yourself right up, bring those shoulders down. So you're almost arching the back just a little. Don't overdo it. If it's painful, you're not gonna do it. You can just sit here nice and straight, pull that chin in, whatever you can do. Wonderful, look up the ceiling, breathing up. Now as you exhale, watch, the chin comes down the back rounds. You pull your abdomen in, drop the chin right down. Good. Now you want to come back up with a breath, breathing up. Shoulders down, looking up at the ceiling. Good. And then look straight ahead and just relax those shoulders down. That is the cat, the yoga cat. It's just a wonderful spine, body stretcher, muscle stretcher. It's really good. Push one shoulder forward, then the other just to stretch out a little bit. Just the shoulder, just the shoulder. Good. <sighs> nice and tall. And just stay there for as long as you can. All right, now we're going to do the pigeon. No, we actually just did the pigeon, so we're not going to do the pigeon. All right. Let's come forward in the chair. One leg out to the side, okay. Take the opposite arm and bring it up. And see if you can come down and touch the floor. Bring the arm back and up. Now let's sit back up again. Let's do the opposite. Bring this arm up. Bring it up, up, up as much as you can. Touch the floor. And then we'll come back up. Come back up slow, slower next time. Arm out. We'll just bring that arm down. Bring this one up. And then switch. This one may not be 
as easy as the others. You're not really not used to it. Bring that arm up as much as you can. Good. And then we'll come back up. Grab some water. We're going to work on standing yoga. All right. And I'm going to try to get up without holding on, right? Here we go. I'm going to do the warrior pose first, which is what we usually do. The feet need to be, uh, what you can do is stand behind your chair. So if you do lose your balance, you have something to grab, right? So I'm going to pull these up a little. A little bit of knee bends here. Lunging, lunging. Bring your arms out a little bit just to get you to feel, feel that movement back and forth. All right, good. Now the warrior pose goes like this. Shoulder length, shoulder height. So one arm isn't down here and one is up. And you're gonna, this foot is turned out. This other foot is fairly straight. You can leave it a little bit out if you want, whatever is comfortable, but I want you to feel secure when you bend your knee like this, okay? Make sure that knee is over the foot and not in or out, right? All right, pull that chin back in again. This arm needs to come up. If you just copy me here, you're gonna bend and come back up. And bend again, good, how you doing? And bend, so you're strengthening and stretching at the same time. Wonderful. All right, bring the arms down and just relax. Leave your legs right where they are. You're doing great. As you can see, this is good for balance too. Yoga is good for balance. All right, we're gonna bring those arms back up. This one is always too low. So I'm gonna bring that up again. We're gonna bend, stay here. This arm and back, drop it down or hold on to the back of your chair. And yes, all of this could be done with the breathing too, the yoga breath. Bring that arm up. This should feel good. If it doesn't, don't do it. Okay. Come back up. All right. Now both feet are turned out. And we're going this way. Now I'm turning that foot in a little bit. Bring that back arm up. Same things. Warrior pose. Make sure that knee is over the foot. If you can do it, it should be over there. So we don't throw that kneecap off, right? The patella. Again. Good. All right, just bring the arms down. We take a little rest. I like this. Feels good, doesn't it? Wow. I didn't plan on doing this one, but I like it. I hope you do too, just to relax for a little bit. All right, both arms up. I always have to look because I want to make sure it's straight out there. Good. Bend that knee. Stay here. The arm in the back. This is called, oh gosh, I, I just forgot the name of it. It's, it's still the warrior pose, but there's another name for it. Exalted warrior. Isn't that a great name? Wow. Exalted warrior. Good. And we'll come back up slowly. Both feet are turned out. Now, if you need to hold on, this is okay. Just, but just drop forward if you can. And just let those arms come down, good. And then we're gonna come back up. The next thing we're gonna do is a triangle pose. The triangle pose. So your feet are still apart. And all you're gonna do is slide that hand down, bring your other arm up. Can you get the arms straight out? Make sure you're slightly forward over the ball of the foot here a little bit. And we'll come back up. Let's breathe up first. And exhale. Slide that hand down. Your other arm is up. Can you feel that wonderful stretch? I hope you can. Good. So let's breathe up first. And exhale as you come down slowly, slowly. Bring that arm up. This arm should go down a little bit more this time. Try to get the arm up straight if you can. Good. And we'll 
will come back up. Wonderful. Let's breathe up again. And exhale as you bring that arm straight up. Slide that hand down. Make sure you're slightly forward or you're holding on to the chair. Don't worry about those arms. And then we'll come back up slowly. So I kind of like that one. That's not too bad, is it? No. Bring those arms up. We're just going to do a little relaxation stretch here. Bend the knees and bring your arms back. And this is kind of like a squat, which is really, really good to build strength in your legs and keep you from falling. Let's breathe up through the nose. And exhale down. All right. Now we're going to come back up slowly. I'm going to come to the side of the chair. Bring this chair back a little bit and then turn it. All right, holding on, we're going to do something called the child's pose. This is done on the floor usually, and it really is good for your lower back, and we've done it many times. So we're just going to walk back, walk back, try to flatten your back out as much as possible. There we go. And each time you do it, you can hold your abdomen in a little bit, tighten that abdomen a little. Each time you do it, you'll go a little bit more so until you get a fairly flat back. And then we walk back up, up, up. And we're going to do a little back bend. We're going to do just the opposite. So you're going to bring the arm up with the breath and exhale as you go back. Do the best you can on this one. And then we'll come back. All right, so let's just walk back, walk back. See if we can flatten the back out a little bit. If you have a mirror, wherever you are, you'll be able to see that. So I think I was here, but now I can do here and maybe a little more and then go back a little bit more. You can bend your knees for some relief. Now, if you want to let go of your hands, this is called a squat and it's supposed to be the best exercise for seniors for function to maintain your independence. And we'll walk back up slowly and then you can sit down in your chair. Good. All right. Grab some water again. I hope you're enjoying this. For maybe people that haven't done this before. Um, there are many, many of these movements, asanas. That's what they're called, A-S-A-N-A-S. -A -A uh, there's something, something called connecting heaven and earth that we can do standing and seated, but we're going to do it seated today. And all you're going to do is take your palm on one, one arm, either one, and push it up. So it's connecting heaven and earth. Put your hand outside of the arm and push down. All right. Just kind of... Um, how can I put it? Equalizes you or evens you off a little bit. Let's try the other side, reaching up and reaching down, connecting heaven and earth. Now bring the hands together. Now you're going to breathe up as you go up and down. And then exhale. And hands together. Good. You're going to breathe up as you go up and down and then bring your palms together and now we're going to just relax and do a little bit of a meditation we're going to take our time but grab some water first just be comfortable uh, if you have lights on maybe you should turn those off or turn them down all right I'm going to get relaxed now. I'm going to slide forward just a little bit. Uh, if you want, you can put your forearms on the arms of the chair. Just turn them over, palms up. I just, for some reason, I just feel right doing this. It's like it's like we're welcoming and opening ourselves to, to meditation and to yoga and what it can do for us. And uh, we're going to start with the yoga breath all together, breathing all the way up. 
holding and then exhaling through your mouth if possible. As you exhale, let your chin just drop down naturally. Wonderful. Each time you do this, I guarantee that you will be more relaxed. I think I'll be more relaxed if I put both feet out here today. So let's take another breath together. Up, up, up and hold and exhale. As you exhale, bring your head forward. Let your head drop right down. You can move your feet back and forth just to loosen those feet up. And just, just feel the relaxation starting at your toes and into your feet. Get the lower part of your leg, your knees. Relax your knees. Move them back and forth a little bit. Your thighs, your lower back, all that relaxation is moving up your body. You can relax your shoulders. Now move your head from side to side. Let's take another breath together. Hold and exhale. Make your exhalation a real long one this time. Now for the next few minutes, we're gonna to try to clear the mind as much as possible or find something to think about that's relaxing to you. And every time your brain wants to start working and talking to you, take another one of these breaths and you'll see those thoughts will disappear or lessen or just slide away. And you know what? Time's up. Try this on your own, please. And we'll see you next time. And thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.